Hey guys, Hiraku here, and I've recently created a free-to-play account, which I am going to be only playing on stream, essentially. Well, obviously, except for this video. Um, I was going to, through the stream content yesterday and checking through the video, or earlier today I was, and the, the stream, I wasn't able to clip together to make it very clear to new players on how exactly, or what exactly you should be doing when you first start playing Raid. So instead of taking the clips from the stream, I'm going to give you kind of a summary of what I did over the course of that stream and you can make your decisions on if you want to do something similar to that the next videos i do should be live clips from the stream i just want to structure this whole thing to make sure new players are getting the most value from this as possible so in that stream what i did is that when i first logged in i was checking the challenges after i went down here and completed the uh, achievements they're very easy to complete i think it was in this section either way i was checking the challenges and the artifacts one especially it starts you off with doing the Karak Castle. I believe you have to get either three or five artifacts from each of these stages. When going when going through this, I actually realized that the very first mission you have, so challenges and missions are both the most crucial things in my opinion you should be doing as a new player and following along with. It's kind of like a roadmap for new players in my opinion. So when you do the first mission, the very first mission gives you an XP boost. So an XP boost is on the top left hand corner you have right here. It increases your experience by 100%. So, your very first mission is to complete all of Karak Castle with, or just complete it all, I believe. But I don't think you even have to get three stars, which I'll jump into in just a minute. So, once I was doing this, I actually realized that it may be more efficient to go through in here and complete all of this, get your experience boost banner, and then go back through here and get the three to five artifacts from each stage that you need. The reason why I say it's more efficient to go back and do the challenge to get the three to five artifacts from each of these stages versus moving on to the next stage is that the challenges are very important to follow along with progression wise and if you get too far ahead of the challenges you'll actually be say down here in stage 12 and you'll have to go all the way back here and farm this early level stage which just won't give you as much benefit as if you were just farming this originally so the two things you want to do when you're going through this um, say the second time after you get your experience boost banner is make sure you got three stars so on stage four you can only bring two champions as you can see in order to get three stars you have to have two or fewer champions with no losses now when you go to stage five you're actually able to bring more than two champions so you want to make sure you only have two champions selected in order to get three stars now after you get three stars the first time any time past that you can bring as many champions as you would like and this gets more this we'll go into that more on the actual next chapter which it definitely is worth bringing more champion than two but for example say you're on stage five and you already got three stars on it and you have to get the i think four extra artifacts or five extra artifacts for the challenges instead of bringing just your starter and then one other person you can bring two other people what this will do is it will level up those two the all three of the champions assuming they're not max level and one of the champions you can actually use as what people call food and if you you'll hear that term a lot in raid essentially what that is is food allows you to rank up your champions so in order to take say war priest for example from three stars level 30 to four stars i would have to take three characters who are three stars now in the example i just gave let's take a two-star champion who you would take into the campaign mission with you to get experience they won't get it very fast but once you get them to level 20 they'll be max level and then you're able to rank them up so in this case I could put these two level one two-star champions with her, select rank up, and I'll take her to rank three. So now I would only have to get one more three-star champion to rank up War Priest. Now I don't recommend feeding what it's called, feeding your blue champions, your rare champions, into another champion. So for example, I wouldn't want to give War I wouldn't want to use do like this. I wouldn't want to get Skull Sworn deleted essentially because whenever you put the champions in the rank up section they get deleted so try to keep your rares um, it's typically safe to not delete them but you can just pull some two stars into the campaign missions with you and level up like that now when you get through all of this and you finish all of this you can move on to sewers of arnok make sure you've complete your challenges because i believe the next one is actually to get the three weapons from sewers of arnok the exact same thing which do take a little while but you're able to level up your champions very quickly 
My main focus, as you can see, my Aethel is, well, my starter champion. She's four star. So she starts at three stars. And what I did was once I finished and got three stars on the um, campaign chapter that I was on, I took three extra characters because Aethel's able to solo for like, so for example, Aethel's able to solo any of these stages by herself. Well, obviously solo it since she's so much more powerful than them. I would just take three characters like this with her those three characters would be characters I would rank up. Once all three of these got to level 20, and then I used two other two-star characters to take them to three stars each, then I could actually take a character who is level 30 with three stars and rank them up to four stars, so then they would have the potential to become level 40s. That may be a little bit complicated, but that is definitely the thing you want to focus on, is you want to focus on getting a six-star character as soon as possible in the game. So ranking up your starter character is the most important thing you can do. And the best way to stay on the right path is to follow your missions. Your missions and your challenges, I believe are the most important things to do as a new player. And that's exactly what I'm doing on this account. I'm making sure I stick with the missions and challenges that'll guide me through the game. Today, on tonight on the stream, I need to work on doing these dungeons. Another thing that's very important with the dungeons is the dungeons only stay open for Let's see. So the dungeons right now are open for six days and eight hours. After the six days and eight hours is up on these little timers, these dungeons close and they're only open on specific days of the week. For example, the void keep is only open on Sundays. So you have to wait. You can't ac access it any other day of the week unless you want to pay 200 gems. Potions are extremely important. I'll get into in more depth into them in another video. I actually have another video on my channel about, talking about potions, but you definitely want to take advantage of this and try to get as many potions as you can in the beginning so you're not falling behind later in the game. Jumping, Hitting on one more topic is upgrading your gear. So you'll have one of the challenges, which is the, I believe, artifact challenge. So it says upgrade three artifacts to level eight. Before this challenge, it was upgrade three artifacts to level four. So why this is important is because if I went, if I had the upgrade to each artifact to level four, and I went ahead and upgraded them to level eight, that challenge is not retroactive. Meaning once I completed the upgrade to level four challenge, and then I eventually unlocked the upgrade to level eight, I would have to go in and upgrade a brand new artifact to level eight. So the most efficient way to do this is to, when you get to that challenge, go to each artifact that you want to upgrade and upgrade it to just level four. Don't take it above level four. Technically you could take it to level seven, but just take it to level four. And then when you get to the challenge that says upgrade to level eight, take all your artifacts to level eight instead. So that way you're not getting mixed up with the challenges and stumbling over things and getting just kind of mixed up. So definitely stay in track with the challenges. That was my main focus on the stream last night. Um, if you want to watch the stream live, we are doing it on twitch.tv forward slash Tairaku. I go live at 11 p.m. at night. Uh, we have a Discord server. You're welcome to join as well. I don't plan on keeping any legendaries that open possibly depending on what I get. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna go about using that. This is gonna be a 100% free to play account. I'm gonna go through exactly what I would do to take this account and progress them through the game. So if you're interested in something like that, this is a strictly like beginner section. So that's what all this is gonna be tailored towards. Of course, you can come to the stream and I can answer some more advanced questions, so on and so forth. But these, this series is just gonna be free to play. And we're gonna be running the series out until hopefully until level 60. So you can see exactly how a free to play account could progress to level 60 most efficiently and effectively. So I'm definitely looking forward to the series. I'm super excited about it. And I hope you enjoy watching it. If you have any like tips or things I could tweak, let me know. Also, pointing out my starter champion, I do not suggest selecting Aethel as a starting champion. Um, I had this chosen on stream. We took a poll. They didn't want to see Kale, so we chose Aethel instead. So we were playing this as if we were somebody who didn't know a ton about the game necessarily. They saw Aethel and like, oh, cool, we'll select Aethel. So definitely do it with Aethel perfectly fine. But that is all for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed um, stay tuned and check out the Twitch and let me know if you have any suggestions or comments. Just leave it in the section below. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day.